He owns the Main Street. He has the Main Street real estate. Not just one building on the corner, the entire Main Street. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the greatest innovators of the century so far. You're a brave man. Well, I'm not so brave. I'm just trying to be funny or something. For this list, we'll be looking at amazing inventors, entrepreneurs, and artists from a variety of different fields. Therefore, instead of the usual top 10 format, we'll be showing our top pick from each category. If you think we missed a great innovator or an exciting area of innovation, please tell us about it in the comments. Architecture, Shigeru Ban. Most people probably wouldn't expect an award-winning architect to work with paper and cardboard, but that is precisely what makes Shigeru Ban an innovator. It's very complicated to test the, the, the new material for the building, but this was much stronger than I expected, and also it's very easy to waterproof, and also the, because it's industrial material, it's also possible to fireproof. While Bon has built museums, pavilions, and other large buildings from these unusual materials, he originally chose them for a different reason. He wanted to help refugees and victims of disasters. First time I used the recycled paper because I couldn't afford using the timber. Cardboard and paper are cheap, biodegradable, and easy for even amateurs to assemble. Bond's amazing accomplishment was turning such apparently flimsy components into sturdy, comfortable dwellings. He won the highest honor of modern architecture, the Pritzker Prize in 2014, for the beauty of his work, his revolutionary use of natural materials, and his contribution to humanitarian aid. I just found out the, the, the definition, what is a temporary, what is a permanent. If people have the building, even the, the, the made in paper, it can be permanent, as long as people have it. But if building was built even in concrete to make money, that's very temporary. Business, Jeff Bezos. It doesn't, I, I, it doesn't matter to me whether we're a pure internet player. What matters to me is do we provide the best customer service? Internet, schminternet. When Jeff Bezos began working on Amazon.com in his garage, online shopping was practically unknown. At first, the website only sold books. Now, it sells not only a wide variety of media, but all kinds of products from across the globe. And it is the largest, most lucrative internet company in operation. Amazon is transforming itself from an online bookstore to an online mall. He transformed Amazon into a retail platform where anyone could sell their goods to his customers and invited thousands of other businesses to be a part of it. We may be seeing more innovations from Jeff Bezos soon. Last February, he decided to step down as CEO of Amazon in order to pursue his lifelong dream of developing safe, affordable space travel. Got to do it the same way we did it with commercial airline travel. Really almost in the barnstormer phase. That's what we're doing right now. But you know where that barnstorming phase leads? To 787s. And that's what we have to do. In a rocket built by Blue Origin, a company Bezos started in 2000, he successfully launched into orbit and returned. Contemporary art... Ai Weiwei. I think I am more like a person. Many artists explore different media, but Ai Weiwei has a uniquely wide-ranging portfolio. For instance, some of his most famous pieces consist of a giant bird's nest building which housed the Beijing Olympics, a film of himself smashing an extremely valuable Han Dynasty urn, and porcelain sunflower seeds created by thousands of different artisans scattered across a museum floor. Although he grew up in China and often employs Chinese methods in his work, Ai is a political dissident who has been exiled for his outspoken criticism of the Chinese government. But why, why are they worried about you? You're an artist. I think art is always dangerous. In the Western world, he is as famed for his revolutionary acts as for his art, especially since his work is often informed by his political views. Art can go as far as it likes. It knows no boundaries. At the moment, my attitude is one of demonstration and protest. This protest is about upholding humanitarian principles. Engineering, Tierra Gwyn Fletcher. Tierra Gwyn Fletcher set her heart on becoming an aerospace engineer at 11 and does not seem to have stopped working on her dreams since. So I would use Legos, construction blocks, construction paper, pencils, color pencils, crayons, whatever I can put my hands on in order to turn my dreams into a reality. While studying aeronautics at MIT, Fletcher was also designing for Boeing. After graduation, she was chosen to work with NASA on the Space Launch System. 
a project intended to bring humans to Mars. She is currently the youngest member of the Engine Section Task Leading Team, which designs and analyzes the top section of the rocket. I'm an engineer, a STEAM advocate, business owner, author, teacher, mentor, wife, and mother. When she is not doing engineering work, Fletcher serves as a mentor and advocate for other young women of color pursuing careers in math and science. The world not only needs diversity of gender, but diversity of race, diversity of generations, and most importantly, a diversity of mind. Entrepreneurism, Elon Musk. When he was a child, Elon Musk's parents worried there might be something wrong with his hearing. As it turned out, he was just lost in daydreams about things he wanted to invent. Musk was fascinated by computers and taught himself coding at a young age. His first creations included Zip2, an online city guide, and X.com, which eventually became PayPal. In 1999, the Alta Vista division of Compaq bought Zip2 for $307 million in cash and $34 million in stock options. Musk was just 28 years old. But computers weren't the only machines that interested Musk. His company, SpaceX, helped NASA transport cargo to the International Space Station. And as CEO of Tesla, he has managed production of several types of electric cars. It's also successfully disrupted the auto industry. The company is valued at over $50 billion. Musk isn't done inventing yet. Someday he wants to create the Hyperloop, a super fast pod transported through tunnels and powered by renewable energy. I know that there are various companies that are trying to create uh, the Hyperloop. And uh, honestly, I think it's a lot easier than, than people think. Music, Kelly Snook. Looking at Kelly Snook's scientific accolades, you might not immediately guess that she was a great innovator in music. She has a PhD in aeronautics and astronautics, and worked with NASA as a scientific researcher on methods of human extraterrestrial exploration. However, Snook's fascination with space and technology is exactly what led her to amazing musical accomplishments. So one of the things I've, uh, I've been doing over the last few years is working on developing the Mimu gloves, which I'm wearing right here. And this is a way of mapping gesture to sound or visuals or really anything that a computer can control. She was one of the creators of Mimu gloves, which sense slight movements of a person's hands and wrists to control musical expression. Ariana Grande used them during her 2015 tour. Currently, Snook is working on a project called Concordia, an immersive musical experience enabling people of various backgrounds and abilities to engage and compose with the music of spheres. Hopefully, this instrument that I'm building, the Concordia instrument, will help us to explore these ways in which we can optimize being sending information over sound and sending information visually and how we synthesize that in our brain. Science. John Craig Venter. He's been compared to God, and even to Hitler. These are, you know, th these were silly comments. Geneticist J. Craig Venter, as he prefers to be called, has explored not only the mechanics of DNA, but the powerful possibilities and ethical issues inspired by genomic research. Where would you rank yourself in terms of scientific accomplishments? Well, in the field of genomics, uh, it, I think, the record is pretty clear cut. Venter developed a revolutionary method for rapid gene sequencing, and his company, Celera Genomics, helped to map the human genome for the first time. The way geneticists did genetics was over, but the thing that had to replace it was large numbers. Venter has worked on developing sustainable biofuel, identifying genes associated with health issues, and extending human longevity. Perhaps his most remarkable accomplishment is the creation of a single-celled organism with laboratory DNA that is self-replicating, in other words, synthetic life. Instead of having a genetic relative that it evolved from, uh, uh, the parent of this cell is a computer. What Venter has done is astonishing. With just four bottles of chemicals off the shelf in his lab, his team replicated more than a million bits of genetic code to create a living organism. 2020 Nobel Prize winner Jennifer Doudna is taking up the mantle of genomic research using technology she develops to edit DNA. This work could cure and prevent fatal diseases by controlling genetic mutation. Sustainability, Wangari Muta Mathai. So when people say they want to come in and cultivate, or they want to come in and grow commercial plantations, I know that they are digging their own graves. Born in a rural part of Kenya, 
Wangari Muta Mathai was the first woman from her region of Africa to earn a doctoral degree. Mathai was an author and educator, best known for her activism. She created organizations promoting conservation and equality, served in African political office, and addressed the UN several times. The Green Belt Movement Mathai founded provided work for women while protecting the environment by planting trees. In 2002, she was elected to the Kenyan parliament and continued to promote green issues from within the government. As a woman, Mathai was often treated unjustly by courts, employers, and political leaders, but she persevered even when threatened with assassination. In the 90s, she once again took head on powerful forces, including influential political and business leaders who had demarcated part of the Karura forest and earmarked it for construction of houses. Mathai advocated environmental sustainability not only to preserve Earth's resources, but as a way to reduce poverty and strife among people. She was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 2004 for her efforts and is laid to rest at the Wangari Mathai Institute for Peace and Environmental Studies. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Technology, Steve Jobs. If one person can be credited with directing the technology of an entire nation, it's Steve Jobs. In 1976, Jobs and a friend founded Apple in his garage. They wanted to make computers smaller, cheaper, and more accessible, and they did. Apple achieved great success, and other tech companies scrambled to catch up. Jobs was phased out for a while, so he went and revolutionized CGI film technology with Pixar Animation Studios. It took us a long time to build the technical foundation yeah. to do this stuff. We were pioneering every step of the way. We, Pixar invented all this stuff. When he returned to Apple in the late 90s, the company experienced an amazing revitalization, producing some of its most impressive technology yet. You got to see this thing in person, but I'll do the best I can with video. This is iMac. The whole thing is translucent. You can see into it. It's so cool. The iMac, the iPod, and the iPhone, most of which are still widely used. Well, what we're going to do is get rid of all these buttons and just make a giant screen. A giant screen. Sometimes it's hard to believe Jobs passed away 10 years ago. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.